Welcome to Knowledge Graphs. This is Lecture 5 on the Logical Engineering for Smarter Knowledge Graphs. We are Harald Sack, Sascha Bruns, and Tan and Tabea Tietz. As always, first we will give you a brief overview about the content of this week's lecture. As you might remember, in the last week we have talked about OWL, the web ontology language, and how to create ontologies based on OWL. We have clearly seen that OWL has restrictions and specific limits. And about these limits we will talk in the very first part of this lecture and we will show you how we will be able to go beyond these limits because we are able to express even more semantic expressivity. The drawback of course is if you go beyond then you pay of course again then with in terms of complexity. That means things quickly become undecidable. However, what we are going to do is we are going to show you rules. So we are going to introduce here also the semantic web rule language, Swirl. And what we are doing here is we are leaving the realm of the open world assumption we have been so far and adding a bit of the closed world assumption rule world that is known from expert systems, for example. Okay. And recall also our DIKW pyramid from knowledge management. So for us to be able to move up from information to knowledge, we have to infuse our information with semantics. In order to do this, we need an ontology. And in 5.2, we will tell you how to design your own ontology. We will tell you the methodologies that we use to do this. In 5.3, we then help you to design better ontologies. Yeah, and you will see it's not so easy to define, let's say, a good ontology. It's also difficult to ev evaluate ontologies in that sense because there are many criteria we have to fulfill. So what we need are sound methodologies that enable us to develop better ontologies. And for that, we are looking at ontological engineering. All these methodologies that might help us to improve also the automatic and semi-automatic creation of ontologies. Like for example, not only ontological design, also ontology learning or ontology alignment and stuff like that. And finally, after we have created a good ontology, what's missing so far is then of course, yeah, it's data. And it's not data in that sense, of course, it's also knowledge. So we have to populate the ontology. So, and this is knowledge graph construction, which we are dealing with in chapter 5.5. Okay, to summarize, in 5.6, we will tell you the best practices in ontological engineering. Yeah, to have something practical for your daily life. As always, at the end of each lecture, we have prepared additional hands-on for you. We start out with knowledge graph construction from unstructured text using natural language processing techniques such as named entity recognition and relation extraction. Then we will, um, we will show you the new tool which is called OpenRefine which is really helpful when you have to transform structured data like CSV files into ADF and, it's also, and also how to uh, connect your entities with entities from Wikidata. And additional hands-on um, is a Swirl, or s a semantic web rune language with Pro Protege Ontology Editor, where we will take a look how the rules can be helpful for deducing new knowledge. And so let's start. And the fir first lecture is Beyond the Limits of All.